हरे कृष्णा हरे बोल हरे कृष्णा मार धन्यवाद प्रणाम सर ऑडिबल यस मार हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा मार यस मार I'm not sure, Maharaj. I didn't have my book. I was not home. Nigam Mohan Prabhu, you know what page you were on in Madhuri Kadamini? Page one or eight? No, Madhuri Kadamini. Page one or eight, Maharaj? Page one or eight? Page one or eight? Page one or eight? वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्रीयुत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सगण साधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादूता श्री विशाखाताजन शलाकया चक्षुना तस्म श्री गुरव नम नमः विष्णुपादाय राधिकाय प्रियात्मने श्री श्रीमद् भक्ति वेदांत नारायण जी नाम ने श्री कृष्ण दिया कथने सुदश मौदार्य माधुर्य गुणश्युक्त वरम परिण्यम पुरुष महांत नारायण अंत विशरस नमा हरे कृष्ण नाउ वी डिस्कसिंग माधुर कादंबिनी इन द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ कर्म योग एंड ज्ञान सो फॉर द मींस साधन डिफर्स फ्रॉम द गोल साध्य व्हाट डज दिस मीन कर्म योग एंड ज्ञान the mean differs from the goal <laughs> it means that the goal of karma is not karma the goal of fruitive action is not fruitive action the goal of fruitive action is the fruit what is the goal of yoga the goal of yoga i told last time is vishnu saidya the yoga of the goal of gyana is brahman realization impersonal brahman but As far as bhakti is concerned, the goal is shuddha bhakti, prema bhakti. If you are doing sadhana bhakti, the goal is bhava vastha, bhava bhakti. If you are doing bhava bhakti, the goal is prema bhakti. Understand? If you are doing prema bhakti, the goal is sneha, man, prana like this. So bhakti means bhakti begets bhakti. They say in English like like begets like. <laughs> So the sadhan of the fruity workers, karmis, is to offer oblations, yaga, understand? Perform sacrifices, yagya, and so on. Right? They do big, big sacrifices. Putra kamishti yagya. They like Dashrath Maharaj had no son, so he did big sacrifice, begat a son. And Agri Dev came with a golden pot with nice sweet rice. Fed it to the queens. They consumed. Understand? So sometimes the princesses in Janak. Poor Sita's cousins. They used to joke with Ram. Oh, Ram Chandra told them, "In your kingdom, girl takes birth from the ground. Like Sita was found under the ground in a golden box." All golden features, and um, they said that oh, you know, your Ayodhya the children take birth from the sweet rice. <laughs> They're joking like that. <laughs> so yes, the yagyas are performed for a fruity result. But yagya itself is not the goal. The result you get from the yagya is the goal. And also, their goal is the attainment of the heavenly planets. Generally, people want to go to the heavenly planets. प्रविद्यामाम सोमपा पूतपापा यज्ञे वरिष्ठा स्वर्गंति प्रार्थयन्ति ते पुण्यमासाद्य सुरेन्द्र लोकाम अर्षनंद दिव्यां दिव्यदिव्य भोगा सो बेसिकली द गोल इज टू गो टू द हेवनली प्लैनेट्स द साधन ऑफ द ज्ञानीज इंक्लूड्स द विथड्रॉल ऑफ द माइंड फ्रॉम सेंस प्लेजर साम क्षमा रिस्ट्रेंट ऑफ द सेंसेस दम एंड प्रोफाउंड एंड रिपीटेड मेडिटेशन निदित ध्यासन And their goal is to merge into the impersonal aspect of the supreme Lord Brahma Sahaja. The Ganges, their aim is very clear. Brahma Sahaja. This is called self-annihilation. The 
and in the entire court he <laughs> carried ramanujari away and placed him in andhra pradesh like so many kilometers like maybe 500 or 800 1000 kilometers away the ramanujari woke up so he saw that he was in a shiva temple and in shri sampradaya they consider that better to die if a tiger is chasing you or oh, you should die but don't go into the shiva temple So Ramana Charya was very regretful. He said, "I will observe a fast for one day because I landed in the Shiva temple. Then only I'll be purified." As he was observing fast, the deity of Shiva told him, "Hey, I'm not Shiva. I'm Kurma. I'm the daughter of Incarnation." <laughs> Then Ramana Charya said, "Relax. Oh, okay, okay. I came to the Vishnu temple. He said, 'People here are foolish. They think that I'm Shiva Lingam, but actually I'm not Shiva Lingam. I'm Kurma." <laughs> the deity told him. So that Kurma Kshetra, we went once. Long time ago, and there were many, many tortoises there. So someone told me a very nice thing there. The tortoises, turtles, as they call them, sea turtles or tortoises, they have a long lifespan—100, 200, 300 years. Why? Because they go underneath the water, they hold their breath, and when they come out, then they take breath again. Again, they go inside the water for many minutes. They can hold the breath. So this breath control apparently gives them a long lifespan. I may be speculating, but that is what I heard. Hmm. Because some people, someone told me that it, how many breaths you are going to take, that is that number is limited. Maybe in your entire lifespan, you are going to take say X number of breaths. Some people told me, you know what they told me that oh, every day you take twenty five thousand breaths, so you should chant at least sixteen rounds because sixteen rounds of Hare Krishna mantra means twenty five thousand names. <laughs> so one name for one breath. Thank you, Krishna. I am breathing. Thank you, Krishna. I am breathing like this. Understand. So, anyways, there is one niyama. Then discipline of the body, asana, breathing exercises, pranayama, and so forth. And their goal is to merge with Paramatma, Paramatma side. Yoga's goal is Paramatma side. Okay, Gyan's goal is Brahma side. Paramatma side means merging in Paramatma. To the degree that these various practitioners approach perfection, their practice reduces. Understand. Means as they come to perfection, their practice reduces. Means they don't want to do as much yoga or jnana sadhana anymore. And finally, they rid themselves of their burdensome practice altogether and become absorbed in its perfection. Once they get Brahma Sahijya and Paramatma Sahijya, they say hasta la vista, bye bye, bye nara, to the sadhan. Understand? They don't want to that perform that sadhan because that sadhan is anyway very boring. Imagine <laughs> doing yoga sadhana. <laughs> It was our god sister uh, in America. Hmm. Yeah, she from uh, San Diego. She was living. I forgot her name. Her father was devotee of this god, and she somehow came in touch with Guru Dev. These two sisters, Anjali and her another sister, they are on Facebook, and uh, she got initiated by. Guru Dev. So one time that Didi, she was doing yoga, <laughs> and uh, she broke her foot actually, fracture. You know. So I was doing some weird yoga posture, and I fractured. You, know. you see that right? it's dangerous that yoga. Huh? But devotees, I think, best yoga is to dance in front of the deity, or take a walk in the park, or just go for some kirtan every day. Understand? Uh, kartals and all huh? that is good to do go with kartals uh, and dance with everybody in the kirtan that is the best exercise i think sankirtan is the best exercise uh, <clears throat> it's good exercise for, for your vocal cords for your <laughs> one time i think in gayan or tridart <laughs> there was sankirtan tridart i think tridart <laughs> There was a Sankirtan party was there. They went to one Muslim area. I think there were Muslims. I heard this. Uh, and then party Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Ram. They entered the Muslim area. Muslim they had like that. And then they say put revolver. And then say Hare Bol Hare Bol. And devotees turn back and went away. <laughs> they were threatened like this with the gun. But devotees didn't stop chanting. They just turned back. Okay, 
now you don't they don't want to come to this Muslim dominated area, you go back now army. Understand? But Sankirtan should be performed, understand. India is a little safer though. Uh, not so much danger is there. <clears throat> and um, so basically what I'm saying is that um, uh, we don't want to engage in so much yoga, understand. Uh, rather little light yoga is okay. But with chanting Mahamantra, understand. Chanting Mahamantram, you should do the yoga. Mm -hmm. Finally, then, so here it is told that um, thus their practice sadhana and their perfection, sadhana, they are entirely distinct from each other. This can be really understood. Now, this is a very nice point. In yoga, the sadhana and sadhana are different. Means their practice and their goal, their practice and their perfection are different. By contrast, sadhana bhakti, bhava bhakti, and prema bhakti are the comparative and superlative stages of the same practice. Try to understand this. Uh, I hope you all are awake. <laughs> Hari Bol, Hari Bol. <clears throat> I cannot see you, but you can see me. <laughs> so by contrast, Sadhan Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti are the comparative and superlative stages of the same practice. Understand? So what it means that Sadhan Bhakti is the beginning stage, Bhava Bhakti is the <clears throat> advanced stage and Prema Bhakti is the Higher stage, superlative stage, huh? great, greater, greatest, high, higher, highest, uh, good, better, best, like this, huh? superlative. So, Sadhan Bhakti is beginning, like most of us are doing Sadhan Bhakti. Very rare, someone may have reached the stage of Bhava Bhakti, Guru, uh, like this, so, Maharaja's Maya, Bhava Bhakti. Huh? And Prema Bhakti is like something that you get when you almost leave this body. Understand? When you enter into Krishna's pastime, Brahma Lila or something like that. Krishna's uh, Vastu Siddhi. Uh, means where Krishna's pastimes are going on in some Brahmanda. Bhava Bhakti is also quite difficult to handle. Uh, Srila Gauravind Maharaj was in Bhava Bhakti stage. Srila Mughal Thakur was in Bhava Bhakti stage. Very elevated stage Bhava Bhakti. We should, we are aiming at Bhava Bhakti. Now we are doing Sadhana Bhakti. But your aim is also bhakti, but it is bhava bhakti. And those who are in bhava stage, they want to get prema bhakti. Basically, we only want bhakti, bhakti, bhakti. Understand? Bhakti. <clears throat> the previous stage of bhakti becomes the cause of the next stage of bhakti. Understand? For example, I'll give an example because it may be easier for to understand. Like we studied uh, physics. Mm -hmm. From, I think, 5th standard, we started studying physics. 6th uh, standard, 7th standard, 8th, 9th, 10th physics, 11th, 12th physics. Then we joined engineering, studying physics. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but there was higher and higher level of physics. Understand? When we are in engineering, we are studying the laser, light, The particle nature of light, the wave nature of light, the fuel nature of light, all these things we are studying in physics, engineering physics, understand, it's very advanced physics, understand, but <clears throat> when we were 8th standard, 9th standard, we were studying concave, convex lenses, understand, refraction, reflection, uh, transmission of electricity, transmit of, transmission of heat by conduction, induction, convection, like this, we are studying physics. So basically, uh, the lower level of physics students is aspiring for higher level of physics students. And someone maybe like Shri Patandi Maharaj can get a PhD or Doctor of Science in Physics and Chemistry and uh, other branches of science. The goal of studying science is to study higher and higher science uh, and maybe do some innovation. But no one is studying science just for the heck of studying science. I understand. Uh, but they are studying science so that they can uh, mm -hmm. able to discover something or invent something uh, or create some mechanism like this, basically. <clears throat> so, but bhakti is not like that. We do bhakti for the sake of bhakti. Uh, we are doing sadhana bhakti so that we can do bhava bhakti. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, as the practitioner of bhakti progresses towards prem bhakti, his practice augments. Understand? It augments. <clears throat> It does not end. This is because in the stage of sadhana bhakti, his taste for devotion has not solidified. 
at the stage of bhava and prema, however, the taste becomes extremely condensed. What is condensed? Condensed? What is condensed? Uh, let us try to understand this word, condensed. Uh, those who have visited India can understand what is condensed. First, there is milk. And then, they put milk uh, and uh, they heat it up. Keep on heating it, keep on heating up. And it solidifies. It becomes like rubbery. Understand? It becomes rubbery. So, like that, uh, solidified milk. Uh, <laughs> So that is what is bhakti is also like that. It solidifies, solidifies, solidifies. Understand? Thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker milk, cream, cream. Understand? Um, so this is what bhakti is there. Condensed bhakti. Shri Narottam Das Thakur has said, Akile se prema bhakti, apakwe sadhana riti, bhakti lakshana tatva sara. Condensed milk reminded me something of one Gurudev's pastime. So one time, Gurudev went to Singapore. And with Gurudev, there are two, two disciples, like Vrindha Didi and uh, Atar Didi, I think, uh, Tunga Vidya Didi. They were always in Gurudev's kitchen, cooking for Gurudev, you know. And there was, I think, one devotee of Indian origin. And he opposed the presence of these Western devotees in Gurudev's kitchen. He said, no, no, Western devotees cannot cook in kitchen uh, like this. He had some prejudice against Western devotees. He considered them to be lower. But Gurudev never considered Western devotees to be lower. He considered them very sincere and always respected them. And he said, why these Western devotees are not accepted in Jagannath temple? I don't understand. They are following all the regular principles. So Gurudev were permitted. Vrinda Vidhi and Tunga Vidhi used to cook for him. But that devotee who was hosting Gurudev in Singapore, he opposed. <laughs> he opposed. He said, I will not allow these Dutch devotees or German devotees to <laughs> cook in my kitchen. Uh, so then, one sannyasi was serving Gurudev and he opened his refrigerator. <laughs> and then in that uh, refrigerator, there was actually some cream, some cream and some yogurt uh, or, or the cottage cheese uh, by the name Dutch Maiden. <laughs> and there was a picture of the girls there, Dutch Maiden, uh, cottage cheese or something. And then he said, <clears throat> He said, yes, this is, but in the refrigerator, there are some Dutch girls here, Dutch madam. <laughs> and you are telling that Dutch Mataji, like, to give that to your Vrindad is not allowed. But if there is your refrigerator, Dutch madam are there. <laughs> You're joking. So, anyways, Chandratam Das Thakur has said, Pakile se prema bhakti apakve sadhana Bhakti Lakshana Tattva Sara. Now this is from a book called Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Chandrika, you know what Chandrika means? Nice name, Chandrika. There is one god sister having I mean, a name, Chandrika. Chavu Chandrika. Uh, this is the name of a British god sister. <coughs> Chandrika is also one. Gopi maybe. Yeah? Prema Bhakti. Prem, prema, prema Bhakti is compared to the moon. Then Chandrika means the light of the moon. Moonshine is called Chandrika. So moonshine, literally translated, moonshine of the moon of love, basically. Yeah? So what is this book actually, Prem Bhakti Chandrika? I will tell you one small story that Srinivas Acharya and uh, Sri Shamananda Prabhu and Narottam Das Thakur, three disciples of Srila Jiva Goswami part. Actually, they are not Shiksha, they are not Diksha Diksha, but they are Shiksha disciples. Huh? They are Shiksha disciples. So they were traveling actually, uh, and uh, they had loaded all the books in the bullock cart, but there was a king by the name Barambir in Vishnupur. And that uh, person actually, he asked the astrologers that, how will I get some wealth? 
they told that tomorrow one bullock cart will come and will have loads and loads of jewelry jewels and gold and very precious treasure you plunder it and he plundered and when all the devotees were asleep in the night time even the guards who were uh, appointed to guard the bullock cart with the books of goswami because when they are going for preaching uh, they must they will just carry the books uh, in a ox cart it was very very popular even madhvacharya's time also they used to carry the books in an ox cart understand and they fell asleep <clears throat> and then the king's assistants came and they stole all the books understand but somehow shrinivas acharya by scholarship and devotion he recovered the books and that plunderer king the quiet kid in baram dev became the disciple of shrinivas acharya but meanwhile shrinivas acharya told narottam das thakur that please go to bengal and start preaching don't wait for the books i'll take care of the books i'll retrieve the books now there are no books all the books are just stolen so therefore he wrote two books in bengali language which has all the siddhanta of bhakti prarthana and prem bhakti and he has in concisely in briefly in gist in a nutshell he has given the definition of bhakti what is telling pakile se prem bhakti pakile means ripened mature understand prem bhakti is where love for krishna is fully mature or ripe and sadhan bhakti is the same devotion that has not yet ripened that's all that's all there is no difference between prem bhakti and sadhan bhakti only difference is one is ripened other is not ripened for example today we ate mangoes today we went to one house we got natural mangoes hari kripa prabhu's house also we went to the sabji market and fruit market and we got mangoes very tasty mangoes very very tasty mangoes um but they were yellow and ripe but understand generally speaking the mangoes should naturally ripen then when they ripen they have a reddish pinkish tinge on them but these days you know in india they pluck the mangoes and then they put the carbide powder on it which is very bad for the liver although the mangoes are very sweet after ripening you know artificial manner but they are not healthy not good for the liver you know what i mean so sadhan bhakti is unripe not ripe one and prema bhakti is ripe one this is the essence of the characteristics of bhakti tattva so that is the difference understand green mango and ripe and yellow mango just as mango is sour when unripe and extreme relishable when ripe prema mature sequentially through many stages known as sneha man pranay rag and anurag and finally mahava understand so mango is sour when unripe those who have come to india they know the green mango i think in south africa also i saw yamuna didi Orchard of a mango tree. I saw, I saw some mango trees in South Africa. I, you know what? Actually, <laughs> I went to Hawaii and so many mango trees were there on the street, and the streets were full of mangoes. No one is going to pick them and eat. So many mango trees there. So many breadfruit. So many macadamia. Understand? Just falling on the street like really a paradise, Hawaii. in islands so beautiful <clears throat> so many papayas there understand so the gurudev used to do his writing there sai marg also just like it <clears throat> like a almost like a gives us a glimpse of a heavenly planet but when mango is green is sour my mother she used to grate the mango green mango and put the jaggery in it and make some nice uh, drink understand mango drink with grated green mango and uh, Uh, jaggery i shouldn't speak about this my mouth is watering and pickle mango pickle is very famous uh, green mango pickle because it's unripe state you can make pickle but actually when mango is ripe it's extremely relishable my mother used to make piyush she used to draw the mango squeeze the mangoes and uh, juice used to come out and then you know rice and a very tasty very tasty or sometimes she used to add milk also to the mango juice and then there is some special drink like that you know uh, so 
Bengals. Bengal Smoothie. Huh? Bengal Smoothie. Huh? When I was in America, the <clears throat> Sadhana Prabhu's farm used to make so many types of smoothies. He was a smoothie expert. Yeah. He used to drink so many cups of smoothie. But mango is well ripe, relishable. The mango smoothies also were relishable, when ripe. But Prema Machir sequentially through many stages known as Sneha. Mm. Just like mango also doesn't ripen in one day. Mm. Slowly, slowly it turns, the green mango starts turning, starts start turning yellow. So like that Bhakti also first goes to the stage of Sneha. Now let me tell you that, you know, if you know it or not, the Sneha actually means I think the ghee. But Sneha is also another word for higher level of love, Sneha. Then, mana. Mana actually is like a sulky mood. Sulky mood means like, uh, let's say, <clears throat> to increase the love between the lover and the beloved, sometimes the sweetheart, she will become sulky. Huh? Mana. Prana is more intimate lover. Raga is even more intimate. Anurag is ever renewing and mahabhav. Topmost ecstasy. These are the various stages of the development of transformation of prema. Prema itself without abandoning the sweet qualities of the previous stages becomes condensed or more relishable as it attains the higher states of sneha, man, pranay. So the highest stage of prema is called mahava and this is present only within the Bhajan movies. Understand? Mahava was Purupa. Actually, um, Manashiksha, I was reading Manashiksha. In Manashiksha, this condensation is explained in a little different manner. Let me pull out my folio. Uh, in that one, actually, if I'm not wrong, Shiva Gurudev says, um, uh, quote as course of verse, actually, Manashiksha. Shiva Gurudev, a wonderful book, actually, Manashiksha. You should cover it. He's quoting from Shri Ujjwal Lilamani's Thai Bhav Prakara. Understand? Shri Rupa Goswami is describing Rati as follows. Yam eva rati pravda mahabhava dasham prajet. Yam mrutya syad vimuktanam bhaktanam cha varyasa. You can note down verse number 3, Manashiksha. Discussion verse number 3. Huh? Uh, so here what is it telling that the love is increasing in means further. Now, very nice analogy is given. Samatharati gradually matures and becomes transformed into Mahabhava. Now, this may be like uh, difficult to understand for what is Samatharati. Let me give you some brief information about this. There are three types of ratis or attachments to Krishna. One is Kubja. Kubja was actually in past life Shurpanakha. She wanted to marry Rama. So Ram cut off her nose and ears and she was born as a hunchback woman. When Krishna went to Mathura, she was attracted to Krishna by Krishna's touch and she wanted to enjoy with Krishna. Krishna granted her the enjoyment. Very preliminary type of attachment she had and that is called Sadharani Vati. A little bit higher attachment is seen in the queens of Dwarka, but their love lessened as they begot children. Because their love got divided. First they had love for Krishna, but when they got one son, two sons, three sons, each one had ten sons and one daughter, so love was divided into twelve parts now. That is called Samanjasarati. But Gopi's love is undivided and their love is called Samarthārati. Very powerful attachment. Therefore, liberated souls and the topmost devotees try to attain this Rati. Rati gradually, uh, now, Liberated souls, hmm. more liberated souls, huh? they are aspiring for this Rati, Samartha Rati. Since they are liberated already, no more birth and death for them. Still they want something like Gopi Bhav, Samartha Rati. Huh? Today I have quoted one verse from Padyavani. Hmm. I really fell in love with Padyavani, you know. Especially I didn't know much about Padyavani, but in Manashiksha, the Gurudev's commentary quoted so many words from Padyavali. I said, wait a minute, what is Padyavali? So I pulled out the folio, then I found uh, some translation from Iskon devotee who 
शिक्षकरत प्रभु समान अध्यक्ष सुधा दे वर गुड ट्रांसलेटर्स बट देन आई केप्ट ऑन सर्चिंग एंड देन आई फाउंड अंदर हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन एंड आल्सो फाउंड अ बंगाली ट्रांसलेशन सो मेनी आई रीड दैट बुक एंटायरली बट देयर वाज सुपर सुपर कलेक्शन ऑफ वर्सेस इन दैट वन वर्स आई रियली लाइक एंड आई मेमोराइज इट मुक्त मुनिना मुद्गम फलम कोटि देवति फलति Sita, 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 Sita,
went to give happiness to Sri Krishna is called Uttama Bhakti. Very simple definition. Only wants to give happiness to Krishna. No, that is that. Uttama Bhakti is of three types. Sadhana Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. Uttama Bhakti. Uttama. Uttama means topmost Bhakti. Tartama Bhava. In Sanskrit, this is Tartama. Ucha, Uchatar, Uchatama. Uchatama, Uttama. Topmost Bhakti. Sadhana Bhakti. Sadhana Bhakti means basically Sadhana Bhakti also two types, right? Vaiti Bhakti and Radhanuga Bhakti. Vaiti Bhakti, Vaiti Sadhana Bhakti will lead you to Vaikuntha planet and Radhanuga Sadhana Bhakti will lead you to Gula Gurindava. That's the difference. Okay. Sadhana Bhakti. We are Sadhakas. What is the definition of Sadhana Bhakti? It will be explained further. Those who aim and object is Bhava Bhakti, they are only Sadhakas. Here there is another matter worth considering. According to the philosophy of Sankhya, doing an activity, the ingredient cause, upadan, current, abandons its previous condition and transforms into its effect. By way of analogy, when milk, the ingredient cause, transforms into yogurt, it abandons its previous state. One can no longer find milk in the yogurt. Poland question may be there this. By the use of word transformation, are we to consider that this phenomena occurs in bhakti also? In other words, when bhava bhakti transforms into prema bhakti, does bhava bhakti cease to exist? When prema bhakti transforms into sneha, does the stage of the characteristics of prema bhakti disappear? When sneha transforms into pranaya, do the previous qualities of sneha cease to exist? In response to this doubt, Rupa Goswami states that this principle does not hold true for bhakti. Rati is the special function of Sri Krishna's Lajna Shakti. By the power of Sri Krishna's inconceivable potency, Achinta Shakti, Rati progresses to its highest stages without abandoning its previous stages. Just as Saran Bhakti is compared to Shravana, Kirtan and other limbs of devotion, so those same limbs exist in Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti as well. Similarly, Bhava Bhakti transforms into Prema Bhakti without abandoning its previous state. So what it means basically, I will give a simple example. Uh, like in America I was seeing, there is a one dollar bill, five dollar bill, ten dollar bill, twenty dollar bill, hundred dollar bill. Understand? Uh, it has been long, long, long time since I left America, maybe almost eighteen years. Uh, <laughs> eighteen years. Uh, uh, so, <clears throat> but hundred dollar bill contains in it one dollar, five dollar, twenty dollar, all dollars are present in hundred dollar bill, right? So don't think that in Bhava Bhakti, Shraddha, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti is not there. It's all there in Bhava Bhakti. But in Prema Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti is there. In Sneha Bhakti, Prem Bhakti and Bhava Bhakti both are there. Mahabhava also, there is Prema Bhakti, Sneha, Man, Pranayra, all are present in it. All the stages are present in it. So in response to this doubt, Shilupa Goswami says that the principle does not hold true for Bhakti. Rati is the special function of Sri Krishna's Ladini Krishna has one potency, pleasure-giving pleasure -giving potency. And the function of that pleasure potency is Rati. By the power of Sri Krishna's inconceivable potency, Achinta Shakti, Rati progresses to its highest stages without abandoning its previous state. Just as Sadhana Bhakti is comprised of Shravana, Kirtana and other limbs of devotion, so the same limbs exist in Bhava Bhakti and Prem Bhakti as well. Similarly, Bhava Bhakti transforms into Prem Bhakti without abandoning its previous state. So it's very, very clear here. Bhava Bhakti transforms into Prem Bhakti. But it does maintain the previous uh, qualities. Understand? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This Prem Bhakti is the crest jewel of all spiritual attainments. Purusharpa. 
Okay, the meaning of parable, the meaning, oh my, worship the lotus feet of free Nanda Nandana, which bring fearlessness. The human birth is very rare, so take the association of saintly person and cross over this ocean of material existence. Suffering right. at the pain of the cold, heat, wind, and rain, I remain sleepless day and night. I have uselessly served misery right. and wicked men for a fraction of momentary happiness, wealth, youth, son, and relatives. What assurance do they hold? Wow. This life is stuttering like a drop of water on a lotus petal. So always serve and worship the feet of Sri Hari. Hearing, chanting, remembering, offering prayers, serving his lotus feet, engaging as a servant, worshiping, serving him, praying, and coming. Very simple. These nine limbs of bhakti are Govinda Dasa cherish aspiration. Hare Krishna. Hare Actually, mm -hmm. Loki, this is a little background behind this. I was reading uh, uh -huh. purebhakti.com. Okay. The Gurudev is told that uh, a story here actually. Let us read this little bit. Very interesting story. Chira Nurattam Das Thakur prays, please give me the association of Ramachandra Kajiraj. Please place me with him. Understand? Dara Koro Shri Acharya Prabhu Shri Nivasa Ramachandra Sangha Mage Narottam Das so here, Narottam Das Thakur, Srinivas Acharya and Shamananda Prabhu were associates. Srinivas Acharya was a high class Acharya. Once he was sitting in an ashram and nearby were a newly wedded girl and her husband. Approaching the ashram, the carriers of the wedding palanquins thought to stop there for water and cooling shade. Understand? They put the palanquins down there and took water. Seeing the wedding party, Srinivas Acharya said, This foolish person has obtained a poisonous black snake and is keeping it around his neck. This very snake will bite him and he will die, but he does not know this. So basically, uh, uh, bridegroom and groom, bride and the groom, basically, they are, I think, riding in different palanquins. That is maybe custom previously. Uh, so, and then all the palanquin carriers and marriage party was thirsty, so they stopped in the ashram of Srinivas Acharya Prabhu for water, you know, quenching the thirst. And then Srinivas Acharya saw the young man sitting in the palanquin, a very beautiful, handsome man, and also very, very pretty, beautiful girl, bride sitting there in another palanquin. Then he referred to that bride as a black snake. He mm -hmm. said, "This bride is a black snake. She will devour, she will bite him and kill him. Understand? Mm -hmm. Now let's not uh, think that the women are bad and no, no, not like that. And all that means that actually, um, uh, if there is a chance." Uh, do bhakti, uh, no, no, no need to get married actually. Yeah. So, hearing the words of Srinivas Acharya, the bridegroom at once approached him and said, What are you saying? I could understand thoroughly. Srinivas replied, He who marries does not know that his wife is a black serpent. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? He who marries does not know that his wife is a black serpent, a very poisonous snake, and that she will bite him and he will die. The bridegroom's eyes were at once opened and he told the palanquin carrier, Return this girl to her father. <laughs> Return this girl to her father. 
deceived by a snake reminds me of the black snake with the lady <laughs> uh, that's that's where it starts right. the bible has said that the the, the christian people believe that eve was betrayed uh, adam was betrayed by a snake mm. a black snake so <laughs> yes yes that may be a parable uh, but uh, in history is more accurate especially shiva bhagavatam is more accurate than bible huh? bible is for preliminary practitioners beginners mm-hmm. understand some spiritual instructions are in it but not everything is valid in it deva dharma says accept the degree it agrees with bhagavatam and don't accept if it doesn't agree with bhagavatam ultimately speaking the final proof is bhagavatam our authority is bhagavatam okay So, thank you so much for attending this class. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you Vishaka Vidhi for hosting this class. Hare Krishna. Thank you 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 Krishna. Thank you. Thank you for spending your time with us. Yes, thank you Maharaj for giving us your time every week. We are indebted to you. Thank 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 you.
Govinda. Uh, Ananga Mohan Prabhu Jai Diwan, please. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Dalka Giri Dari Radha Vinod Dari Ji 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 